So we're back with another Pro Tools tutorial. Today I want to talk about bouncing a mix. There's been a little bit of confusion about that. So we have a multi-track session. We've got to want to bounce it to a WAV file or MP3 so we can listen to it on headphones or a regular playback device. So what we'll do for that, we'll come up here on the top of the timeline. We see this little arrow. We want to use the cursor to select the beginning and drag it to the end of our song or track where we want to bounce. And you'll see the arrow splits in a half. The next step we'll go to is up on the top file menu, go file, bounce to, and disk. So now we have a few options. Our bounce source in this situation, our main left and right is A1 and 2. And our file type. A WAV file is an uncompressed audio file. It's a higher quality. You might want to check this add mp3 box if you're sending a mix via email. It could easily fit in email for reference. Under file format, we have three options. A mono sum would sum your left and right channels into a mono mix. Multiple mono would give you two files, a left and right separate. What you want to have selected is interleaved. That'll give you your regular stereo file. Your bit depth and sample rate is going to default to what your session is, which is fine. This file name over here is where you're going to name your file. We'll call this bounce tutorial. The directory is where you're going to choose it to be bounced to. Right now it's being bounced into my desktop so I can find it easily. You could bounce it to a folder. Over here, offline and online, if this is checked off, you're bouncing it offline, meaning the computer is going to do its processing as quick as it can, get it done. If it's unchecked, it'll bounce in real time, so you'll listen to the song from start to finish before you have your completed file. I'm going to bounce it in real time. Hit bounce. Over here, we could add some metadata, artist info, album, genres, etc. For now, I'm going to leave that blank. Hit OK. When it goes away, you know it's completed, and you could find your file on your desktop or whichever directory you chose to save it to. That's it for this tutorial. I'll see you next time.